Hey, what is up, my chemistry people? Today we are gonna practice assigning oxidation states. Let's take a look at problem number one. We've got some chlorine, boom. It's an element, oxidation number is zero. Number two, we've got sodium ion. It's a monatomic ion, its oxidation number is plus one. Number three, watch out, it's a compound. Potassium fluoride. Follow the rules, I'm gonna assign a positive one oxidation number to potassium first because it's an alkali metal. Then I'm gonna assign a negative one to my fluoride ion here. Pretty straightforward ionic compound. Number four, things get a little scary. It's my first covalent compound, carbon dioxide. Remember, you're gonna use that table of priority. We're gonna assign an oxidation number to oxygen first. It's gonna have an oxidation number of negative two. Carbon, then we come to carbon. Carbon must have an oxidation number of plus four so that when I sum together plus four plus negative two plus negative two, I get zero. The reason why I'm doing negative two twice is because there are two oxygen. Time for some sulfate. All right, now as I look at this one, uh, the oxygen and sulfur are covalently bonded together, two non-metals that together have an overall charge of two minus. Again, I go to my order of priority here. Oxygen is gonna take first dibs, which means that it's gonna have an oxidation state of minus two. And then as I go to assign the oxidation number to sulfur, it's gonna get an oxidation state of plus six. Now, why plus six? Well, a plus six plus a negative two plus a negative two plus a negative two plus a negative two equals negative two or two minus, which is the charge of our ion overall. Okay, and then lastly and most difficultly, number six, K2O2. This is an ionic compound. It's a metal and a non-metal. However, this is an example where oxygen is not gonna have that negative two oxidation state. Again, it's about following those rules in order of priority. The very first thing I need to do is assign the potassium ion an oxidation state of plus one. And if potassium is plus one, that means each oxygen must have an oxidation state of minus one. In fact, this is the peroxide ion or O2 two minus, which is a common exception to oxygen having an a minus two oxidation state. Okay, there's your quick intro to assigning oxidation state in an element ion or compound. Boom, we are done.